Welcome to Behavior Gaps. Navigating Life with Behavioral Economics. A series where we explore the ways in which our emotions, biases, and social influences affect the choices we make. I am Amanda. Today and the days after, we're going to dive into the fascinating world of behavioral economics. Behavioral economics studies how people make decisions and how the decisions are influenced by emotions, biases, and social factors. Behavioral economics combines economics and psychology to better understand how and why people behave in the real world. Behavioral economics recognizes that there are often gaps between human behavior and traditional economic assumptions that emphasizes rationality and self-interest. Emotions, biases, and social influences can all have a significant impact on the decisions we make, leading us to make decisions that are not always in our best interests. Traditional economics assumes that individuals are rational and make decisions based solely on their self-interest. Traditional economic assumptions include the belief that people are rational, make decisions based on self-interest, and will change their thoughts and beliefs in response to new information. Additionally, traditional economic theory assumes that individuals are utility maximizers and rational in their actions. The main criticisms of traditional economics include that it may ask the wrong questions and rely on simplified psychology. Critics of traditional economics argue that the assumptions made in economic models are unrealistic and do not hold up in the real world. Specifically, Critics challenge the assumption that people are always rational and act in their self-interest. Some argue that traditional economic theory relies on simplified psychology that does not accurately reflect human behavior. Traditional economics assumes that human beings have limited resources and hence always end up making the rational choice which is not always the case in the real world. Behavioral economics challenges some of these assumptions by showing that people often behave irrationally and do not always act in their self-interest. Richard Thaler is widely regarded as the father of behavioral economics. He began to build on the work of Tversky and Kahneman, with whom he collaborated extensively, in the 1980s. Behavioral economics recognizes that people often behave irrationally and make decisions based on emotions, social norms, and other factors beyond self-interest. Behavioral economists also study how external factors such as incentives, framing effects, and social pressure influence people's behavior. This leads to a more refined understanding of economic behavior that takes into account factors like emotional states, social norms, and the effects of framing on decision-making. Behavioral economics offers insights into why we behave the way we do and how we can make better decisions, from nudging people toward healthier choices to understanding why we struggle to save for retirement. Therefore, behavioral economics offers a more realistic and holistic approach to understanding and predicting human behavior in the marketplace and other economic settings. Both traditional economics and behavioral economics are widely accepted in the field of economics, but traditional economics has been the dominant approach for much of the last 40 years. However, behavioral economics has gained growing attention and influence in recent years, particularly in areas such as public policy and finance.
While both approaches have their strengths and weaknesses, many economists now recognize that incorporating insights from both fields can lead to a more comprehensive understanding of economic phenomena. Behavioral economics has been developing rapidly in recent years, and there are several exciting future directions for the field. One exciting direction for behavioral economics is the integration with fields such as neuroscience and psychology. The integration can provide deeper insights into the underlying mechanisms of human behavior and decision-making. For example, researchers are using brain imaging techniques to study how emotions, biases, and heuristics affect decisions. The research helped to shed light on why people deviate from rational decision-making. Behavioral economics studies these deviations and the deviations influenced by bounded rationality, cognitive biases, herd mentality, and other factors. Economic behavior models use data and experiments instead of rationality assumptions to study how people make economic decisions. The rise of new technologies, such as big data, machine learning, and artificial intelligence, is giving researchers new opportunities to study human behavior and decision-making extensively. These technologies are also being used to develop new decision support tools that can assist individuals in making better decisions by incorporating insights from behavioral economics. Behavioral economics is already being applied in a variety of fields, including healthcare, finance, marketing, and education. However, there is still much room for advancement. Researchers are exploring new areas to use behavioral insights for improving decision-making and policy outcomes. The continued collaboration between economists, psychologists, neuroscientists, and other experts will be shaping the future of behavioral economics as an interdisciplinary field. This collaboration will help to deepen our understanding of human behavior and decision-making, as well as the development of novel and innovative solutions to real-world problems. These are just a few of the exciting future directions for the field of behavioral economics. Many more exciting possibilities related to our behavior as human beings would be revealed along with the continued works of researchers to explore this fascinating field. Join this channel as we are diving deeper into the world of behavioral economics, our behavior gaps, and how they affect our decision making. Thank you for watching, and I hope you found this video was useful.